This is round three. I honestly don't know what they want me to say here. All I know, Knight of Cups and the Empress, is that this reading is about consistency and using inspiration to build a foundation for consistency. And um, the last two readings, we emphasized taking small, manageable steps towards your goal. You have to envision what you want, speak it into existence, and then take action towards it every single day. Something. And if you fall off the wagon, you have to get right back up. You can't quit. You can't stop. You have to keep going. And it's going to be hard, and Spirit's going to test you. But if you don't quit, you will achieve your goal. Knight of Pentacles. Slow, stable, steady action. Uh, I don't know what we're doing here, but just splitting the deck and pulling the top three cards of each pile. Judgment, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hermit. A test to work through isolation. That might be for me specifically. Slow, stable action. I don't remember if it was the last reading I talked about exposing myself to crowds and taking that slow, stable action. I think I need to do that. I think I need to just go out. I would feel better at being outdoors than indoors, but I still feel like two of swords. Like my sister suggested that I go to dinner and meet a friend of her and her, her boyfriends. And you know, I'm not like opposed to it, Wheel of Fortune, but I've got complicated emotions right now. And I don't do food dates, 10 of wands. I've got particular eating habits and like particular dietary preferences and requirements because of, you know, keto or whatever. Even though I'm just getting back into the rhythm on that, it's probably an excuse, Three of Swords. Because, I said it in the last reading, if we are looking for an excuse not to do something, we will always find one. And for me, the idea of a food date, Page of Swords, was like an instant no. I would rather die than go to dinner with somebody. I'll go, I'll go to the park. I will go stargazing. I will, <laughs> Ten of Swords, I will do anything else other than be in a crowded area. Like, concerts would be out, you know, like, I, anything where I'm surrounded by people, Queen of Cups, I get overstimulated, I will not enjoy myself. And if I also feel like I have to worry about, like, maintaining normal eating habits, death then that's just like double the stress. I'm not gonna do it. I don't like it. But that's why this is a test. I'm supposed to be pushing my boundaries. And I did that the other night by going to the kids' gymnastics. And I think I'm gonna do that every week. I'm gonna sp make a point to spend that time paying attention to them and spending time with them because it's important to me. I'm reestablishing the connection with my family. But going out in public is difficult for me. King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. And I have reached a point of hyper-independence as opposed to regular independence. I need to reestablish a connection with others and communicate. You know, we're working on the whole making friends thing. But so far, I don't know. Ten of Cups. I hit a point of being happy within myself, and it's making it kind of difficult to want to interact with others. It's something I have to go out of my way for, and I'm expecting like any given interaction to not go a way that I want it to, Eight of Swords, because I know that I don't actually need them. Whoever I'm talking to, whoever I'm trying to include in my life, I know at this point that I don't actually need them outside of my family. So, I think I'm battling hyper-independence now. Page of Pentacles. So we are going to take small, manageable steps in an intellectual man manner with the King of Swords. I need to go somewhere with a stranger where there is a crowd. Strength. That is divine guidance. 
which means that I do not have a choice. I have to do this now. It's kind of like smoking, or quitting smoking and quitting weed. I didn't want to. But here we are. I did the thing. Four of swords and a four of cups. And just because we are disinterested in our growth and healing doesn't mean we don't have to do it. The most uncomfortable growths are the most important. And it's only such a big deal for me to be in public and in a crowd and socializing justice because I don't like to do that. So anybody watching who is also looking to grow in their own life understand that if you don't have a problem with crowds, then that's not going to be something that the spirit's going to push for you to conquer. If you have a problem, if you have an irrational fear of spiders, then dealing with spiders is going to be what you need to work on. You know, like, do what you're most scared of or what makes you most uncomfortable. I don't like eating in front of other people. Meta swords. I feel self-conscious about my habits, so I don't do it. The Hierophant. That is what I need to fix. The Magician. And the trick there is not to observe other people's eating habits and copy them so that I feel comfortable. The trick is to feel comfortable in the way that I do things naturally. Because I don't I don't eat like a caveman or anything, you know, I don't have it's not weird habits like that. I'm talking about like the fact that I put tortilla strips in my ramen noodles. You know, like that's kinda weird. I don't know anybody else that does that. I fucking do that almost every time though. I add cheese in there too. You know, people think that's really weird and it makes it texturally kinda different. But I kinda like it, so that's what I do. The fool. And you know, people can judge me for my ramen habits all they want to. I don't care. But these are the kind of things that I'm talking about. You know? Two of Wands. If it makes you uncomfortable, go out of your way to participate in it. That is where your growth lies. The Emperor. Your go-getter attitude. That lines up with the Hierophant and the, magi and the Magician. That's how you get your new beginning here. You have to take action with the Knight of Swords. I hope this one's the right message because we had two other similar messages and Spirit denied both of them. Ace of Wands. I think it was something about like getting off track or not focusing on the right problems or maybe like the topics or examples I chose were unrelatable to the audience watching. Conflict. Conflict in a passionate new beginning with the King of Swords. This King of Swords figure that we haven't necessarily been able to identify has pulled both the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands several times now. And the Devil. I don't know who this guy is, but he seems like bad news. Two of Pentacles. It may be a desire to throw us off balance with the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Three of Wands. A major decision with the lovers. Is this our decision? We see something here. What do we what are we supposed to be seeing? A tower? But is it for us or is it a tower for them? Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. That is our legacy things coming to fruition after a tower moment, ups and downs, new ideas, self-defense, and wish fulfillment. It may be that all of this positivity and forward momentum lies on the other side of this tower moment and major decision for the Queen of Swords. So it is a decision that we have to make. There may be loss involved here. Ace of Swords, though, it would seem that clarity is coming. I don't really know what... It's about a job. The King of Swords worked at the hotel management agency. This might have to do with our path forward. Even if it's not him coming in, it may be that we have to really decide if hotels are what we want to pursue right now and buckle down because we haven't been focused. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.